good morning students now we are going to discuss on the topic basic constructs of programming language so this particular topic uh, is from unit 1 of your principles of compiler design subject so this topic which seems to be an a basic thing or a basic one that you people know very well and then here in this topic um we have some various uh, things related to your high level programming languages or programming languages so though you people have uh, uh, some uh, insights on the things that we are going to discuss but here we have to concentrate much on what is meant by construct and what are the various types of constructs that we have and how we have to use the constructs and what are the relations that we have between these constructs and uh, compiler design so these are the various things that we people have to concentrate on so though this particular topic seems to be like an a basic thing but you people must know so what is the relationship that we have between these topics and compiler design so that's going to be the peculiar thing about this particular topic so this is going to be the first question that i'm going to ask to you people what is constructs the very basic question so constructs are nothing but it may be a, a tool or it may be a structure so using a tool or it may be a, a structure you are going to code something or you are going to define something or you are going to uh, uh, process something so that's about uh, constructs so anything that you are going to use within a program so all those uh, are simple components or complex components or any components uh, to define something or to process something so all those things we used to call it as an constructs so uh, sometimes it used to act like an uh, storage place and sometimes you will have some name uh, with some functions or uh, sometimes you will have some uh, simple procedures and sometimes you will have some complex procedures or complex structures so basically to perform something we are going to use this constructs um so which used to take some input and which used to process something and which used to produce some output so those things are about constructs so constructs means nothing but any components or any elements or anything that you're going to use within a program so all those elements or components are structures or concepts whatever that we have all those things we used to call it as an constructs uh the next thing which is about uh, uh, basic constructs that we have Uh, for example the variable example uh, int a comma b or float c comma d where uh, we have data types and variable names are also used to call as an identifiers and then um, we have some list of data types or what are the constants what are the variable names with some constant values um, so all these things uh, which used to act like some uh, basic constructs for us and then other concepts that we have are uh, arrays and then struct and procedures and functions so all these things are some other concepts that we are going to use in our programming languages so you people know about arrays array is nothing but uh, uh, a name uh, uh, which is going to uh, used to store some uh, sequence of elements which have some similar properties so uh, those things which is about array and you have some various types of arrays like uh, uh, one dimension two dimension three dimension or multi dimension or uh, so to process some uh, matrix related uh, operations and to store some uh, n number of uh, strings and to process those things only we used to use uh, arrays concepts so always uh, which used to have some indexing options or subscripting options to denote the uh, position of the elements present in that particular storage structure and then you have some limitation so just to store only some similar values not some dissimilar values that's going to be about arrays and then struct which is a very important one because 
based on the struct concepts only we used to have the class class concepts in object oriented uh, uh, programming and then moreover in all the uh, object oriented uh, programming language we are using the class concepts <laughs> for these class concepts the struct concept which is going to act like a base because this particular struct concepts which works similar to your class concepts uh, but in uh, but in some uh, different uh, uh, way because we have some similarities between struct and class where both struct and class you have some names and for both struct and class you will have some objects and to access the elements present in this structure surely we are going to use the object and we are going to process so we need it so that's about uh, struct and then procedures and functions normally in procedure oriented language we used to call it as in routines or procedures where in high level programming language we used to call the same concepts as functions so we used to define some function and used to process something within it uh, but to perform some simple task or to perform some complex task task we used to use these functions so by using the name of the function we could get an idea as whatever the thing that we are going to do over there um, so these are the things about uh, uh, functions and various other structures are uh, to control the flow of executions uh, and for looping structures like for while and do while and uh, decision makers like uh, if if else and nested if else so these are some of the other uh, structures that we used to use in uh, high level uh, programming language so you people know uh, the differences between this for while and do while and those syntaxes and what are the elements that we have over there at the same time you must know the importance of the decision makers and how uh, these conditions get processed so all these things are very important uh, thing in uh, basic concepts of uh, high level programming language and then you have some advanced structures so these are very very important thing and then uh, you must know as what are the various basic things that we have in this advanced structures and how to use these advanced structures so that's very important for example pointers so the importance of the pointers are it could be used like a database even uh, in uh, c like uh, program c like uh, uh, programming language you don't have any backend support suppose if you have to use uh, uh, inbuilt backend so you could use this pointers as an option as an inbuilt support uh, as a databases and then you have various other structures like uh, enum and then uh, union and then you have other uh, uh, data structures like uh, stack queue and then uh, link list and the dynamic link list and then binary tree so these are various other data structures so to perform some uh, logical operations to have to perform some complex operations related to mathematical expressions are related to um, scientific notation processions so for all those things uh, we would uh, use these concepts for algorithm processing uh, we could uh, use this advanced structures uh, so starting from the basic structure and towards the advanced structure what are the concept that we have in uh, any languages that you're going to use all those things we used to call it as in constructs of programming language because using those things only we are going to construct a program so suppose you though you're going to construct a simple program surely at least we, we used to use some a few constructs two or three more concepts constructs to uh, define the code and to execute those codes so these are the importance of um, constructs so students um, though uh, this is going to be an least important topic uh, um, in unit one but sometimes you may not know they used to give some importance to this particular topic uh, in university uh, question patterns uh, so uh, though they are going to uh, 
uh, ask this question in university or not. Uh, that's not a problem here. Uh, but you must know what are the various constructs that we have in high level programming language. So kindly concentrate uh, uh, much on this topic. So uh, with this I am uh, I would like to uh, stop this uh, presentations and then I have given some summary over here as uh, all the elements in programming language and to do some actions input and output to construct some application programs. So all these things which stands, uh, stands for what the concepts of programming language. So students thank you for listening. So with this I am uh, stopping this presentation. So thank you.